Stumbled upon this on my travels earlier. Someone's obviously laddered up to the roof of this bad boy. Nothing going on up there. There's a ladder inside. There's clearly pumpkins out here. But the big money move is that this is backwards and I don't know why. So, I'm going to go for it. Oh. Brought all of my worldly possessions in terms of like pickaxes there. I do know that that wall now goes to his, well, maybe honeycombing? Certainly backwards. I guess there's a med syringe and a gun though. Oh, that is so good for us. Let's go. So what's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to a brand spanking new video. As you can hear, my voice is getting slightly better. If you haven't caught the last couple of videos, as always, go check them out. But right now, haven't been raided, which is incredible. I just, ah, it's just such a good feeling. So I'm gonna go check and see what our lovely, lovely neighbour, if you didn't know, we're living in a cave. We have a very friendly neighbour who lives in one of the other spots. He is just doing absolute bits. Uh, we're gonna go see what he's been up to over the last sort of 24 hours. Been about 24 hours since the last episode. Um, let's go, yeah, let's just, yeah, let's just go and see what's going down. Still got really good upkeep as well on the base, which is very nice. I need to come farm all these nodes down here as well. Might even... I know the guy's got some large furnaces up top, so... Might use those. Oh no, his walls. Someone's... Either his walls have decayed or, or what? We had walls throughout the whole compound. These have health. Oh, I don't know what has happened here. If I need cloth though... I think I've got the code for that in there, like I've got the code for the big gates. What a hemp farm, man. Okay, so the big thing is we've got to survey the local area. I need to get enough scrap to be able to land the satchel charge today. And then we need to go raiding. I'm pretty sure I learnt the bean can last time out anyway, so we're Gucci on that. And if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a like. Really freaking helps me out, helps the channel out. And I'm really just enjoying making content right now. So thank you very much for your support, as always, friends. No way is he running. He's gone. Toss pot. Please. Fuck, I'm dead. Oh, I hit him. I think I killed him. Yeah, I downed him. Oh, I'm not going to make it back in time. I've got to run all the way out the cave. He lives just there. Come on, get up, man. <gasps> yes! Yes, you little ripper! Oh, dude, I got up. I'm sorry. Oh, my God, he's loaded as well. That's the luckiest recovery ever, man. Like, I was not gaining health at a quick rate. I did not think I was going to make that. Let's go. Clutched up, though, on that compound bow shot. Good start. This guy was not here a minute ago. Right, I'll depot this stuff. Then we need to go find some sulfur nodes. Get them cooking. Then we need scrap. Someone's raiding my... Someone's raiding my top base. Oh, shit. Oh shit, 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 shit. Come on, come on, come on. Please don't say I've got a bag timer on that. Or maybe they're raiding the hemp farm. Oh, they're raiding the hemp farm. Shit. It's gonna be the guy that just... Is the TC gone? You really need all that hemp? Was it worth it? 
tell me. Cool. <laughs> Fucked me up. <clears throat> okay, fine. Oh, you can't! He's killed himself. He's killed himself. He's killed himself. Huge bag timer. Huge bag timer. Come on, 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 come on. No, he beat me there. He beat me there. How? How? I don't know how. He possibly can't live closer than my own bag. Oh my god. I mean, he obviously had a raid bag. That is the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, it's time for me to have a coffee and a break. I am tempted to try and see about getting in here. The fact that that horse is there scares me. I really need to just keep hitting the roads, I think. We, the scrap is just going to be so huge. We need that satchel charge. And then I also need like an hour to sit and craft bean cans, but that's neither here nor there. Right, finally gonna get the satchel charged, so I'm gonna spend the next like 45 minutes, probably hour. It's already really freaking late. Le uh, crafting these up so that we can hopefully go and do a raid. And the big important thing is as well, I need to keep these furnaces cooking because I just I need to go and farm ore again. Like I've got I've had the burning pretty much full stop, non-stop for 48 odd hours, so I'm low on actual raw resources, and you can hear gunshots in the background because they are just never ending around these parts. I must admit, it's been a very different experience again playing on a high pop server that's kept pop as well this week. I listened to your comments, it's what you guys wanted, and I've really freaking enjoyed it. What is that? It's not, it's not important, it's okay. Is this horse still here? Yeah. Okay, so that's healed itself, I think. Right, one thing I have learned in my many years of playing Rust is that if you're going to do something like this, where you're out in the open, where somebody can roll up on you whenever they want, what you should do is never have everything on you, because they will finish your raid before you can get back. Right, so the fact that this is only 87% stable worries me. I don't know if that makes this a some weird... I don't know, I don't know. I think that it's going to be interesting to see what's behind this. I mean, he could be online in there. This could go to all of his loot. I doubt it, though. Okay, we need to get to the back portion and then we can obviously pick upwards. Although to pick upwards I wouldn't be able to then get up there. Oh, I could jump on the... Oh, I wouldn't be able to jump on the horse. I need to get one of these ladders from somewhere. Okay, intriguing. See, I don't really want to raid this because it could go all into this sort of triangle mess back here. Looks like the ladder... There's a ladder inside there for some reason. As much as I would like to raid that and finish that off, I just don't... I don't see the profit in it for us. It's going to be too much of a risk. Oh, my dinner. Dinner. This shit does nothing. Okay. Thank you, mate. Take your shitty, shitty ass mic and get out of here. I think the big thing for us right now... Oh, our neighbor's online. He's patched up. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Cool. This is crazy. So I've given him a quite a lot of low grade there, but I'm fine with that. Fucking Thompson, I need someone to be able to raid with. It's got a hollow on it. I you guess two, two you sure? Is, is decent. Okay. Yeah. If you're sure, well, thanks, buddy. Right, I'm gonna. Um, yeah. I'm. I'm going. I'm gonna go do a raid. Uh, pretty close by. So if you if you oh, hear oh. hear it, it's gonna be me. Okay. Here goes everything. Like I say, it's gonna be a small raid. Smaller anyway than what I want to get done this wipe. We've got a lot of stuff. I need to get cooking I need to farm again really but right now what I'm most interested in is getting my hands on a bit of scrap Hopefully and this base is right on the coast if I can find it again. So hopefully he's been out on the boats Please pop. Oh, my man. 
It is locked as, it, as expected. Nice! That's some better speed, and I like it. I don't like the level of loot in here, but I will take a double barrel. That will be fine. Okay, let's let's take a second. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Okay. Frags, all right. It's a bit of a bit of charcoal. I'll take it. I mean, you, I, look, it was never going to be worth. I mean, one metal door, one wood door. It was never going to be worth, was it? Oh no. I was hoping for more. Oh, okay. That's bare resources. It's it's not great. Look, we knew it wasn't going to be top. We knew it was wasn't going to be top. But to be honest, I'll take it. A raid is a raid at this day and age, and I'm I'm reason I'm not overly happy. He's not even got a sleeping bag in here, dude. Must be in the airlock. I will take it for the double barrel though. That's probably I've probably got just enough scrap to learn that as well, which is very nice now that I've got this extra fifty odd. So that is very nice indeed. And to be honest, I it's not it's not grand, but I'll take it. You can't win them all. We've had a couple of busts recently. But it, I think it just means that the good raids are coming, boys. In fairness, that C4 was easy come, easy go. And the satchels, very easy to farm. We're living in a cave, that constant supply of sulfur, you just you, you just love it. But I am going to go and do some peripheral trades with my neighbour now, I think. Trade him, he said he wants blades, so I'm going to give him some blades, hopefully for some weaponry, anything I can get my hands on. Sulfur-wise as well, he'd love to get my hands on some of that. I know he's got rockets and C4 and all that juicy good stuff. Oh, what do you guys think as well? Zero is the neighbour, if you if you don't know. His name's Zero. Um, he's German. He speaks incredible English. What do you guys think about me maybe asking him about a duo soon? I mean, it's it looks as though he's a bit of a role player, which is fine by me. It looks as though he farms like motherfucking crazy. And it looks like he's down with the electric... Electri electrics the electrics down to do like kind of everything so what do you guys think about that i think he'd be the perfect partner i think we we'd have some good banter and he seems like a really really solid guy so i don't know let me know let me know in your, th your thoughts down below you can see how well he's like developed this wipe but that is me guys thank you so freaking much for watching make sure to look out for the next one let me know in the comments down below if you do want to see another episode of this wipe i might just do the farming and just kick back i don't know i'm absolutely loving it and i've loved living in this cave and to be honest i know it might get a bit stale but i might do it next wipe as well and just not show you too much of the base because right now i have never felt so safe and secure and cozy in this little base i just want to make it a little bit more homely but we can do that coming in the coming days and i'll see you all in a few days time my name's been Tills, peace out. I try to connect all the dots. Oh, to let you in behind my shelter. You could fit into my lap when you stay.